Hag Sameach, everyone. Hag Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'ilam She'oso nisim lavoi se'enu Bayomim ho'hohem bizman hazem And so the Maccabees we are taught by our tradition <laughs> went into that temple and found only the remnants of war, the swords and the spears of their enemies scattered about. And rather than take up those swords and spears and use them as weapons, the Midrash teaches, they created a Chanukiah, they created a menorah, built from the fragments of war and hatred and terrorism. They chose instead to kindle light. And so we too have a choice. As we tell the story of Hanukkah, we can think it is only about us. Or we can remember that as we bring light to the world, it is our responsibility to fight hatred, to fight intolerance, to fight those who wish to destroy, and instead to use the weapons of war to bring about peace. Today, there is a dark evil shadow that creeps slowly over civilization. And it has taken the lives of so many innocent victims, from Israelis threatened by stabbings and rockets, from the streets of Jerusalem, to the streets of Paris, to the streets of California. It's a darkness that is characterized by a violent intolerance towards religious freedom and the pursuit of global power and despotism through terrorism. Our hearts go out to the victims, to the families, to the wounded, and to the innocent who are afraid to walk the beautiful streets of Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or to gather publicly in Paris. Open our hearts and minds that as the scriptures are read and your word proclaimed, we may hear with joy what you say to us tonight. Guide us, O oh God, by your word, that in your light we may see light, in your truth find freedom, and in your will discover peace. I'm so grateful for all of you, for all of our partners, for coming together, for saying during the darkest times a time when it feels as if the world has just gone crazy and it seems as if the news each day can't get worse than the day before and then it does. That we chose instead to come together and to say that we're going to light lights. We're going to put our light into the world. We're going to put our hope into the world. We're going to put our prayers into the world. We're going to put our love into the world. And like our ancestors who lit the lights so many years ago, knowing that the lights couldn't withstand, and then they did. We light the lights not knowing what will happen next, but having the faith that our world will be brighter because we put our light into it.